In the future, soldiers sealed inside strikers will know where their objective and enemy soldiers are located via virtual pins dropped by other soldiers on mobile devices strapped to their chest. At this demonstration at Aberdeen Proving Ground last month, the striker teams entered the fight and traversed the battlefield on the way to Amaka's group weapons cache, while their locations pinned to soldiers and vehicles across the striker brigade. This is the Army's battlefield network of the future for striker brigades. No longer will soldiers have to scan the battlefield after the hatch falls to find the enemy. Soon, new tactical network tools will show soldiers inside a striker, where enemy soldiers are positioned before they dismount, marked by other soldiers on the battlefield. Drone Shield has sold a quantity of its Rafone MKIITM long-range sensors to the Australian Army. The capability is being delivered immediately, to allow the Australian Army to assess its future counter-drone requirements and options. The Rafone MKII is a long-range direction finder that, according to the company, detects and tracks small drones and other robotic threats at longer distances than any other device. It runs on the Drone Sentry C2 AI-based software engine, which scans the RF spectrum and reports threats to the operator without causing undue distraction from other tasks. The purpose of Rafone MKIITM is to offset the ability of low-value drones to provide targeting data on high-value armored vehicles and other assets, and if paired with Drone Sentry X, can also neutralize those drones. One of Britain's key land programs will find itself before the Parliamentary Defence Committee July 20 with leaders set to quiz top officials from the Ministry of Defence and Contractor General Dynamics UK on the causes behind the troubled Ajax Armoured Reconnaissance Vehicle Programme. Delivery of an operational Ajax family of vehicles is a British Army priority as it seeks to transform the way it equips for a future digital battlefield. But, the track vehicle, an advanced version of General Dynamics Land Systems a Scott platform, has been beset with delivery and technical problems that have drawn criticism from government bodies such as the Infrastructure and Projects Authority, and have attracted widespread media reporting. A visit to a U.S. Army brigade has shown logistics personnel from Australia's 7th Combat Brigade, the similarities allies have in vehicle recovery capabilities and practices. The 7th Combat Brigade personnel visited the U.S. Army's 14th Sustainment Brigade at Fort Carson, while deployed on the Joint Warfighting Assessment 2021. During some time away from the warfighting activity, the personnel reviewed foreign capabilities and saw how their allies in the U.S. Army recovered vehicles in the field, the 7th Combat Brigade's Artificer Sergeant Major, Warrant Officer Class 1, W01, Mick Patman, said he was intrigued by the sheer size and manning of the 14th Sustainment Brigade. We visited a heavy transport squadron that gave us a demonstration on loading vehicles using their onboard wind system W01, Patman said. The Indian Navy has received its first two MH-60R Seahawk multi-role helicopters of 24 ordered last year from the U.S. for $2.12 billion. Indian ambassador to the U.S., Taranjit Singh Sandhu, formally accepted the aircraft during a ceremony held at North Island Naval Air Station in San Diego. He remarked that the induction of the multi-role helicopters serves as an important milestone in India-U.S. defense ties. Indian naval forces will use the newly acquired helicopters to perform various combat missions, including anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, combat search and rescue, and medical evacuation. The service purchased the MH-60R Seahawk helicopters because of their state-of-the-art avionics and sensors designed to support multiple missions even in adverse weather conditions. The Indian Navy will perform modifications on the vehicles, such as incorporating the country's own military equipment and weapons, once the contract is complete.